In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build AI agents 100% locally with DeepSeek. And if you weren't sure how good DeepSeek is, here's how it performs across different benchmarks where it's either on par or better than OpenAI 01 models. To get even better with the cost difference, OpenAI's 01 cost is about $60 per million output tokens, while DeepSeek's R1 is $2.19 per million output tokens. That is a crazy difference for just being on par or better in some of those benchmarks. And speaking of DeepSeek R1, like I mentioned, his performance is on par with OpenAI's O1 models. It's a fully open source model with a technical report and as a bonus has open source distilled models. They're distilled from DeepSeek R1 where it has six small models fully open source and the 32 billion and 70 billion parameter models are on par with OpenAI's O1 mini model. Well, let's get to work starting with First step to get it running locally is to download Olama. So you're just going to go to olama.com or olama.ai and then just simply download Olama and you're going to download it for your machine. Go ahead and click download button and once it's done, just install it and run it. And with that step done, the next step is to pull the DeepSeek model. Now, what does that mean? Well, if we go back to olama.ai, at the top left here, you can choose your models. Or if you're on the main screen, you can search for it. Well, DeepSeek is so popular right now. This is the popular model on Olama. So you can just click DeepSeek-R1, and then you can see all of the parameter models that you can choose from. Now, you can choose the 671 billion parameter DeepSeek R1 model and just run that if you have the power, the machine to do that. Right, but if you're like me, then you will want to use a distilled model. So these models are distilled based on other models. So for instance, the 70 billion parameter model here is distilled from Llama. And if we come down here a little bit, you can see that's from Llama 3.3 70 billion instruct model. Okay, so what we're going to do is we have to pull one of these models locally on our machine. So for instance, I'm going to pull the 1.5 billion parameter model but you can just choose any one of these. So go ahead and copy this. So I'm gonna highlight this, copy it, and then open up my terminal, which you can do in Windows with the command terminal or in Mac, it's just terminal. And then I'm going to just type in Olama, pull, and then I'm gonna paste in the model that you that I chose, right? You'll This will be the model that you chose. Now I already have it, I already have it pulled, so this is why it was done uh, so quick. Yours will take a little bit longer. So whenever that's done, go ahead and come back. Okay, and now that we have the model pulled locally, which means that we've downloaded the AI model to use with Olama, let's go ahead and run this as a standalone to see how that works. All you need to do to get this work is say Olama, Olama, run, and then you, you paste back in the model that you used. So because you already have it downloaded, you know now we can have a two-way chat with it. So it's just asking me to basically give it a message. I'm just going to say, how are you doing? You know, and depending on, you know, what your computer power is, this will be either slower, or faster. So it doesn't have any feelings, but what is life to you? And if this works, then we can prepare this for the AI agents. So now that we've run Olam as a standalone, the next step is to create our crew. All right, I've opened up Cursor. I've created a new project. Now all I want to do is say, type in crew AI, create crew, and then you can name this whatever you want. So I'm just going to name this Deep Seek. Okay, this is going to go ahead and go through the steps and create the crew. Okay, so I want to use OpenAI. The next is I want to use the GPT-40 model. I'm not really going to, but I just need to, I just want to have this in here because we are not going to be doing that. We're going to be using Olama. And by the way, in my school community, in the full masterclass for crew AI, this will be here ready for you to use right away. So go ahead and go ahead and join. The link will be in the description below and I will help you to create all these AI agents for you. Now is the time to learn. Okay, so coming back here, the next thing we need to do is first off, clear all of this. Now, in order to use this, we need to, Olama is running. We need to connect to the server, the local server that Olama has. Okay, the first thing is I'm gonna open up my crew, go to my source, and here in, in crew.py, let me lower this a little bit. We have, there's a lot going on here. We don't need all of these comments, but in order to have these two agents, right? So we have a researcher agent and we have a reporting analyst agent. In order to make Olama work with them, you know, we need to basically create our own LLM variable and then pass that in to the agents. 
So now that we have created our crew, the next step is to add this variable. Now, how this works is if we go back to your crew.py file, okay, you have to be in your crew.py file. This is where the crew base is, where it knows to create the crew. So in the import uh, at the very top from crew AI, import agent crew process task, you also want to import LLM. And I'm gonna show you in a minute, this is actually using, they use light LLM in the background to have you have all these connections to all these different different providers. Okay, so in order to now make this work, is we're gonna say deep seek. Well, it actually already has this here. So let's go ahead and uh, paste this in. But what we have here is I say deep seek olama is equal to, I'm creating an instance of the LLM class. I'm giving it a model and a base URL. There's actually a couple ways to do this, but for olama, what you have to say is you have to prepend the DeepSeq R1, 1.5 billion parameter model, this is what we copied from Olama, but you have to prepend it with the provider saying Olama so that the LLM knows that this is, it could be DeepSeq R1 from many different places, right? If it's any model, it could be from many, from many different places, but we wanna tell it this is from Olama locally. And then you give it the base URL here. And this is the default base URL for Olama. And then, we're going to go ahead and pass this in to the researcher agent and also, well, it's already here, also to the reporting analyst agent. And you say LLM equals, then we say self.deepseek olama. So we're basically passing this in as the LLM because if we didn't and we pass in the project or an API key from OpenAI, it would use OpenAI. So if I were to comment this out, this agent would use OpenAI, but this one down here, the reporting analyst, would use the DeepSeek Olama um, uh, LLM. But we don't want that. This is 100% local. So we want to use DeepSeek for both of them, okay? These go in the agents, not in the tasks. We've added the variable. Now, quickly, I do want to go over light LLM because I know I just went over it, but let's go to light LLM.ai. And if you come in here and we go to the documentation, and there's a bunch of stuff here that you can go over, but I'm gonna basically get right to the point. On the left-hand side here in the documentation, if you go to supported models and providers. Okay, let's say, let's say I wanted to use IBM Watson X dot AI. In order to make that work, if I created a new LLM, I would need to say Watson X because that is the provider for that model. Okay, so now if we come down here to Olama in the documentation, this is an example usage. It's saying that you need to prepend whatever model that you have downloaded that we pulled already in the very beginning. You have to prepend it with Olama, and then here is the base URL. It is not API base in Crew AI. This is base URL. These are, it might be API base for them, but it's not for Crew AI. Okay, it's base URL, and then this is how you would get that to work for any other provider at all. Okay, Light LLM, uh, as you can see here, they have many different providers. Um, that you can get from. Okay, it just makes it like an easy way using one you know, using one package that can provide you all these different things. Okay, so now back to Crew AI. What we have to do next is now that we've understood LLM, light LLM. The last thing is to run the crew. Now, this is we need to do one more thing here. If we go to main.py in line seven from deepseek.crew import deepseek. Now. There are two ways to run this. You could run this for, uh, you could say crew AI run, but I don't want to do that. So you, what you have to do in line seven of main.py, you have to get rid of uh, whatever you named your crew. And you're just going to say from crew import deep seek. All right, now let's, let me bring this up. Oh, and actually we do need to do one more thing. You need to have this run function. We just need to pass that in. Okay. And for the topic, let's just change this to DeepSeek. Okay, great. Now we are ready to run the crew. So let me bring the terminal up here. And always, always make sure you save your files after you make changes. Always save. If not, you'll wonder why it didn't. And there'll be a little white circle by the file. Save it. Okay, so a couple commands. LS is means it's gonna list where I'm currently at. I'm currently in the DeepSeek folder right here. I need to go down another one. So I'm gonna say TD into DeepSeek. Okay, and then we are good to go. That's all we need to be at. So I'm gonna now say Python source slash DeepSeek slash main.py. Main 
I'm gonna go ahead and run this. Now, on my machine, running Olama and recording, this may take a little bit of time. Um, and, you know, it, it, it depends on your machine how long this is gonna take. Even with the 1.5 billion parameter model, this took way too long with the uh, 7 billion or 8 billion parameter model. So I just use 1.5 for the sake of this video, but obviously use whatever model that you want to use. Okay, and it finally finished. Uh, so DeepSeek, it just came out with uh, some data that it researched for, and then the analyst you know, went over and basically converted it into Markdown. Okay, great. So what we've done now is we've officially taken Olama and allowed to use DeepSeek R1 locally with AI agents. So we officially ran our crew. And again, if you join my community, I can teach you all these things. I have also incorporated no code platform N810 into my teachings and I have a separate masterclass for that as well. And we have another video on how to use DeepSeek with N8N locally, private 100%. Thank you for watching. I have more videos up here that you can watch. And until next time, have a great day.